Hello and welcome to Brisbane. We are at the Simon Black Australian Rules Academy. Simon, how are you? I'm oh, fantastic, Tim. Great to be with you. So you've come a long way. Three-time Premiership winner, Norm Smith medalist, seventh on Survivor. <laughs> uh, tell us about the Academy quickly. Yeah, the Simon Black Academy is based around education. We've partnered with Torrens University and we also run a football program, which is Aussie Rules Football. And around that, we also tailor our workshops around nutrition and leadership programs and learn a bit about um, you know, bettering yourself through personal development uh, amongst the education and football program. Well, it's great to have everyone with us on the virtual open day today. So what we're going to do over the next little while is we're going to talk more to Simon about the course, why it's good. We're going to talk to all these lovely people about how much they're enjoying either the diploma or the degree. That's right, yeah. The first year is a diploma in sports development and the second, third year is a Bachelor of Business in Sports Management. And it's a beautiful time, isn't it, to, to, to educate while you're playing sports? It is, yeah. It's um, a lot of, obviously, school leaver um, students want to get a qualification and uh, partner with Torrens University, you can certainly do that, whether it's a, a one-year diploma level or a bachelor degree over three years. And, and what cities are we in? Obviously, we're here on a reasonably windy day in Brisbane. We're in four cities. We're in Brisbane, Melbourne, Adelaide and Perth. Okay, beautiful. The Simon Black. No better AFL player than this guy and he's got his name to a wonderful academy. Is everyone enjoying it? Yeah! More enthusiasm, please! Yeah! Let's find out more about the Simon Black Australian Rules Academy. Simon Black Australian Rules Academy uh, is a program uh, with three pillars, education uh, with our partner Torrens University, and then we run an AFL uh, Australian Rules football program, and then we also, our third pillar is our personal development um, space where we do a lot of workshops around goal setting, nutrition, uh, leadership programs. Um, so it's a rounded approach to try to better our student athletes, as we call them, um, through uh, education, football, um, sport, and, uh, and personal development. We're an education program where we can offer a Bachelor of Business in sports management over three years or if you just like to do a one-year stint with us it's a diploma of sports development. Yeah I've been here for three years now so I've, I've loved every minute of it. A really good opportunity to learn from Simon and stuff but also do uni in a really constructive and supportive environment. It's gonna open a lot of doors having the qualifications behind us. You don't have to be an expert um, academically or, or, or football wise to be a part of our program and, and that's how we've designed it. Um, you, you know if you've got a bit of a passion for the game of Australian rules football um, then great and, and if you want to obviously better yourself academically through an, an education program with Torrens University there's an opportunity as well so combining sport and education I believe is a fantastic way um, to, to better yourself in life and, and help set yourself up for a you know for a platform of of direction and, and a career going forward. Even if you've never picked up a footy before, there's heaps of people that are brand new to the game. They're you know learning stuff every day. Also, if you've been playing footy for ages, like I have, um, you know, I'm still learning heaps, and it's a lovely environment. There's a spot for everybody. Um, it's not just uh, the sporty guys. Everyone sort of can have a go, and um, even if you're not the best at footy, you can still excel in the academic part and still live a really healthy, active lifestyle. One of our fundamental keys to our program is inclusiveness. So we get males and females into our program um, and we get all, all walks of life from people, again, if you talk about football, uh, Australian rules football, that are very experienced to, to not experienced, um, to people that have played the game for a long time to, to very little time. And also different backgrounds. You know, we've got lots of people, um, whether it's indigenous, or many different type, types of cultures um, that come in. So being inclusive and creating an environment um, that is, I would like to think, united and really caring um, is what our, our coaches and our mentors really strive for each, uh, each, you know, each time our students turn up every day. It's been brilliant. We've got a lot of country young males and females that have left their rural area to, to be with us in, um, in, in all four states that we're operating in. So it's fantastic to see them on the move to the, to the big smoke for the first time and their commitment to the program is, is always fantastic um, and they're you know, combining I guess the combination of a, the city young person and the country young person is really good for our city um, males and females to, you know, to, to have that and form those relationships and um, I guess um, yeah, become really good friends. I was really daunting moving up here, being alone away from my family, but the Academy really got behind me and supported me in every way possible to make it the most easiest move for me. The personal development side of our program is something I'm really strongly passionate about and so 
to give you an understanding, each of our students have a, an indiv individual development plan, um, like a goal setting sheet that they fill out regularly around football focuses, um, physical focuses. So some students might want to put some muscle mass on, some might want to drop some weight. Um, so there's physical aspects and then there's a personal side to it as well. So whilst you're studying with us, do you want to get some work experience with a, an AFL football club as an example? Or so how do you better yourself in a rounded sense whilst, uh, whilst you're in our program? And that's something our coaches drive really well and we're, we're very passionate about. I was very fortunate throughout my football career to learn the values of you know, teamwork and um, being selfless um, and having care for the group that you're in. And, and so I'll, we really try to, as part of the, the foundation of this program, give our students an understanding of you know, the similarities between sport, which translate all those attributes, to then life. You know, the, from sport, being involved in the team, to being in the workforce, you're part of an organisation where you've got to, um, you know, you're part of a team, a group, and to get the best out of that group, you've got to have genuine care and you've got to be able to work together with others and all those attributes that are really keys, we, we try to, I guess, impart in our students in our program. We have such a great opportunity to actually, not only to, you know, for him to coach us, but for him to, you know, to get to know us, to get to know him and what he's all about, it's, it's a really good opportunity. He tries to build on relationships with all students, whether you're experienced in the, and studied longer or if you're new and that um, trust and belief that he puts in you, it helps you drive to do better in your assignments and your athletic builds and your skills. I would love to go to the AFL Women's one day, that's my primary goal, but um, if I don't make it then I've got the skills to do other jobs and go into a workplace around the football. I was a young guy uh, when I started in the AFL that had a lot of self-doubt and didn't think I'd survive long in the AFL, that's for sure. Um, but I realised that if I worked hard and, and committed myself and set some goals and some things to really strive towards, that I could achieve far more than I ever thought I could. And I guess that's what I'm, I'm f I found I've most enjoyed and most passionate about really with this program now is just getting our students to understand if they commit to something and strive towards something and be really specific about what it is in their life, whether it's football, whether it's something physically uh, or a personal part of their life, they have those goals that they can really you know, achieve something that they, they're proud of um, and it can help set them up in their life, um, in their employment and their, their workforce um, going forward. Life has its challenges, whatever field you're in, and some come from pretty challenging backgrounds as well. So, um, the environment that we try to create here is one, as, as I mentioned, has been really inclusive. Um, I, we find a lot of our students find this a, a really happy place to come and be and experience day to day. Um, and that environment, again, is one that our, our coaches and mentors really try to drive where we. It's a happy place to come. Um, it's a place you want to, want to be and um, you better yourself both academically, mentally um, and physically at the same time. So um, yeah, we think it's a, I guess, a combination of, of all those types of things. Being resilient and learning what resilient looks like um, is really important. Some of our students uh, really at times, I guess, have challenges from an academic point of view. So we've got some wonderful um, mentors and tutors that help get them through um, their assessment pieces as, as best they can. We rely on fantastic proactive staff and we've got some wonderful staff in Victoria who are great with designing programs that might not be face to face um, day in day out um, but can do sessions at home, um, fitness exercise classes at home, um, they provide competitions within the group to try to keep a bit of morale and um, unity going throughout this period in Victoria. Um, so there's certainly ways we've been able to sort of I guess tap dance a little bit to try to keep our students engaged and um, keep them really enjoying their experience whilst they're in the program. We've had a, a great addition to our program, I guess, um, like a lot of organisations in using Zoom. Um, and we've connected our four programs around Australia um, to, to uh, get some fantastic guest speakers in um, from uh, leadership experts uh, to nutrition experts to um, players, AFL players, that will come and talk about the game as a whole, um, assistant coaches uh, in the AFL. So our football education we pro provide our students, uh, we believe is, is fantastic, really strong. Um, so we've used that platform of, uh, of Zoom as a new addition to our program to help educate everyone around the country throughout this COVID period. I was very fortunate to get drafted to the Lions in that era, um, there's no doubt about that. I was a West Coast fan growing up in Perth, and, um, but to come across to, to the Lions and be a part of that great era, um, you know, I was incredibly fortunate. Um, I, I just wanted to, I guess, make sure that um, I put my best foot forward when I arrived in Brisbane and gave, gave myself a chance to, to play a long career and to end up as Lee Matthews as your coach and to play with 
those incredible players I had in my side. Um, gee whiz, I was, I was very fortunate and um, you know, forever grateful to be given the opportunity, really. Yeah, I'll, I'll get a lot of questions from our students around my experiences, and particularly early days as a young player coming through and what I felt worked and the lessons I learned. So I really enjoy that part of it and imparting my, I guess, my little bit of uh, knowledge back to them and, and just trying to help them along the way. It's honestly the best. You come here four days a week and you just put in your efforts and that's all that really matters. As long as you're here, you try, you'll get by. And Simon Black is the most patient person you'll ever meet. He will help you any way he can. He's um, really good to us and he sort of becomes like a mate, which sounds a bit strange to say when you talk about his sort of status in the football world and for him to sort of come along and mentor us and then also become someone you can call a mate, it's pretty, really cool. Growing up, you always, I, I idolised him as a, as a young man and sort of getting the opportunity to meet him for the first time, you're like, whoa, this is, this is weird. But as you get to know him and as you get to spend more time with him, you're like, wow, this, he's just a normal bloke. You'll go out for lunch with him, you're like, oh, he's just a normal guy. But I've spent the first 15 years of my life just thinking he's an absolute god and I just idolise him. So it's, you pinch yourself every time you come to the academy. So, love it, absolutely love it. I think it's um, a very good course to take, especially for the mental health. Like it can really whip you out of some not so good places and you just meet a lot of cool people and we've got great coaches so that tops it off. A lot of young people unfortunately suffer from some mental health struggles and so um, what, what we do have is we have fantastic coaches and mentors that have genuine um, care for our, for our students. Um, and that pastoral care is, is something we really try to focus in on. So um, some of our students that do struggle have access to, to psychologists through Torrens University um, and so have some fantastic student support to help them along the way. This sort of program wasn't around 20 years ago, um, even 10 years ago, and it's amazing how many people of my age vintage, uh, I'm around 40 now, you know, sort of say to me, oh, gee, I wish that was around when I was a, a young guy coming out of school because I, I've got a passion for sport um, and I wanted to get an education qualification and I would have jumped at it. Um, so it's nice to hear that and it's been really nice to hear the, um, you know, the parents' feedback around the impact we've had on their children's lives and, um, and that's been really positive. Torrens are real pioneers with their thinking of combining both education and sport. Um, so I feel very privileged to, to be partnered with, with Torrens University and, and their mindset of um, you know, combining sport and education. It's a fantastic initiative and it's amazing how many people, I guess my age group, um, I speak to that say to me, oh gee, I wish that sort of program was around when I was leaving school. I think the fact that we have the practical at the start, so we go out and train on the footy field and then we come back into a class environment with our mates, that's really enjoyable. and a safe environment for us to learn and do what we all love best, I guess. When do you get the chance to leave school and, then, and go, oh, what do I want to do? When do you get the chance to play footy and study? It's, it's just, you can't ask for anything more. Like it's, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't be happier with what, what's happened with me and I think Lockie's the same. Yeah, 100%. If you've got a passion for, for when you leave school to get some, an education qualification and at the same time you have a passion for sport um, and Aussie Rules is obviously what we offer. Whether you've played it a lot or you've never played it but you'd like to, um, we, we fit that, that model. If you're there leaving school and um, for some people um, it might be a, a gap year um, a diploma of sports development over the 12 month time you're with us um, but if you also want to have a qualification as a bachelor business degree then we offer that as well so there's, there's a there's varying array a range of different um, scenarios education wise that you can achieve by being with the Simon Black Academy um, and we like to think we'll better you as a footballer as an athlete um, obviously education wise and then as a rounded person through our personal development workshops.